Excellent. I'm thrilled that you're back. And while John's getting a tool he needs, I want to talk briefly about a, a, a new paper that's been on the market for a long time that we've started to carry. And we're really excited about it. It's Cling Spore, uh, which is a P grit paper. We talked about the differences between P grit, Micron, and uh, Trizac, which we also want to discuss briefly um, about. Um, we're excited about this as a P grit paper added to our line. Uh, the cling spore certainly is used by a lot of you guys now in both the woodworking and solid surface industry. So that's available to you. Also, another product that's on the market, and some guys, this is one of these papers, if you love it, you love it, and nothing else works, and if you don't like it, you hate it. And that's Trizac. Um, it's another paper that has a very unique grading system to it, um, similar to the um, Micron in, in that it's, it was getting unique. Um, but the way this paper works is instead of using a cut media like P grit does, which are irregularly shaped um, particles, but all sized to be roughly the same uh, size and, and, and developing uh, cutting position, the Trizac is actually a sheet that contains um, just literally thousands upon thousands of small pyramids. That's simple. The idea behind it is when you're cutting, it will cut uniformly. All the pyramids being point down will cut. And as part of the pyramid breaks off, that part of the pyramid will not cut until all the other pyramids around it are broken off to the same level. The idea being is you get uniform cutting all the time. Trizac is meant to be used wet. I'll come over on this side. Um, so you have to sure. Uh, most guys <coughs> store um, Trizac really in just, they leave it in a... Um, uh, a bucket of water. They just constantly leave it in water and pull it out as they need it. It's, um, it's grading is, makes it simple for doing something like that because it's color graded. Why would someone want to fabricate wet? Uh, some guys have that. A lot of guys do. They, they, their preference is that, that they feel like it gives them a better cut. Um, the water allows for some lubrication of the process. Okay. Um, it controls dust, which is really big to some guys. However, it does create a slurry and it's a mess you've got to clean up. So I've never been persuaded of that, but once again, you know, it's, it's different strokes for different folks. So yep. um, as I said when I started into this, the guys that love Trizac, they won't use anything else. Um, guys that don't like it, like me, you know, I wouldn't even think of having the mess. But, you know, it's a product that's out there. It's a very popular product with some people, and for giving a mirror finish, it does the job. I briefly want to talk about for a second the product I really like myself for putting a polish um, on material, uh, solid surface, is Danny Homerick system. People that call into the shop or into the office and end up getting me on the phone and they want to know how to polish, this is a system I recommend because in all honesty, it's really hard to screw it up. Uh, I know I've always had the ability to screw things up left to myself, but this is so simple that anybody can do it. It's step one, two, three. It's that simple. Uh, and the Trizac, I realize, is essentially the same thing, but you just get a gorgeous these finish on these. Pads? These are wool. Wool, okay. These are all wool pads. Um, as a matter of fact, Danny's gone to a new wool system. It's denser, much heavier. These are a lot heavier than the pads I've bought in the past. Um, and he claims that they give a, a, an even more uh, superior finish, and, and, and uh, it just adds to the <clears> process, makes it much better. Really simple to take care of. You, you, you polish, afterwards you're through, you, you scrape the buildup off with a, a brush that Danny supplies. Mm -hmm. Really simple. Um, so I'm just going to swap these different pads on. So while I start to polish this section, John is going to... I've, uh, ne <clears throat> I've never used the Trizac before, and to be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea how it works. I've seen it demonstrated one time. Uh, so Ken, you're going to have to kind of walk me through this. I'm going to go ahead and wet this down. Uh, and uh, I'm going to stay on my half here. And do I need it real wet, Ken? Uh, once again, a lot of guys that use Trizac use it right out of a bottle of water. Um, okay. It will, uh, it will but how long a bit does of it stay? Story. How long does it stay wet on the uh, on the material? Do you have to keep it wet? Yeah, you'll you'll keep adding some. All right. Uh, I'm gonna and I'll do the same thing if I may have the water sure, bottle. Sure, absolutely. I'm going to start with green Trizac. And uh, this is available with a hook at two backing. So ours is a hook at sander, so we've used a conversion pad on here. And I've gone to a five inch pad because that's what we happen to have here. 
and I'm going to use this in the random orbit mode and I should be in good shape here. And uh, just to say, you'll notice I'm using a quarter cable sander for this. We do sell these, um, uh, especially for the Danny system, because these pads don't work with the newer style Festool Rotex. Now don't come over on my side. Now you just stay on your own side of the fence there, buddy. So am I going to use this just like I'm going to use um, regular paper? Correct. Just go back and forth, same motions? No difference. Well, there's certainly no dust when you're working with water. No, not at all. I like the smell of that stuff. My stuff? Yeah, it's like polish in the car. With it. Okay. No animals were harmed in the testing of this product. Now, what do I do with this? Do I have to wipe it down? Yes, you do. All right. And we didn't bring a squeegee, and we only have a little bit of paper here. Um, let's see. Ernie, if you would do me a favor. Uh, on uh, there's a little table on the porch and there is a little black rubber brush there with a squeegee built right onto it and we can use that for this okay I'm going to just take it just very briefly as you can see already the uh, I should take all this out of the way I apologize my the camera people are going to shoot me but already you can start to see remember you have your side I have my side my side's shinier, shinier than yours. Well, that's because yours is wet. Like oh, the old okay. Range Wars. Okay, yeah, please. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop the wrench in here very quickly. And and I will change <coughs> grits. All right, and I'm going to switch over pads. to... The next one I'm going to go to is blue. Take that one off. And this is a little slow because it is live, but we wanted to run through the steps. And a lot of guys, you know, tell us it's, you know, it's really nice to watch a video and it all happens so fast, but they want to actually watch it happen. There we go. Okay, that's step one. There we go. You know, I saw Danny at a show one time with a piece of avonite, and he brought that up to such a finish, I could actually shave in it if I wanted to. Of course, I don't shave, so I could if I wanted to, though. It's almost as glossy as, um, well, well, I use way too much of this on there. That's all right. Danny's not watching, so I'm not worried about it. Danny's not watching tonight? I hope he isn't, because I just used too much compound. And Danny uh, always sends out notes. Don't use less than you think you need. Well, too much lubrication can be a problem sometimes. It can. As you can see, I'm getting a mess all over the place. Right. I'm still being a good boy. But this is starting to develop a beautiful shine. Mine's not so nice. <clears throat> so I guess now I'm going to switch over to orange. How do they, uh, um, how do they rate these in grits? Uh, we actually have a handy dandy chart over here. Um, I was just curious and I thought maybe our viewers would be curious as well. One important feature that I just uh, remembered when, when you're doing this 
especially if you've used uh, a little too much compound, is don't uh, turn it off and put the uh, machine up at an angle where it's going to flip it in your face. Oh, I can already see things in here I couldn't see before. Because of those high quality <laughs> goggles. No, I think it's the fumes from that. <laughs> Okay, we'll clean this off real quick. out of the way and I want you to begin to see the shine that that has. You can clearly, or I can anyway, I can clearly see the reflection of the can uh, on the deck. Um, as you can see, John's is not nearly as nice as mine. Well, yeah, come on. Well, that's the difference between a seasoned professional and a desk jockey. Okay. I wouldn't call yourself a desk jockey. Thank you. If I were you. Once again, using less than what I think I need. Thank you. Isn't it great how all these things just come out of the air when you need them? <laughs> oh. Mine is still not anywhere near a polish. To be honest with you, I would have thought that we would have been further along than this. And uh, if anybody from 3M is watching and I'm not doing this right, I apologize. But I'm going to go ahead and switch right over to the white, which is my last resort. The great thing about Danny's system is you're going to see it's going to deliver really a beautiful shine in a very short period of time. Um, I know some fabricators, because having gone to Danny's system, they offer as a standard a polished top because it doesn't take that much more time to do using Danny's system, but yet it readily separates you from the competition in whatever market you're in. And most people do really prefer the shinier tops over to the duller finishes. And I'm done. Let me show you where I'm at. You're on the last, that's the last step? I'm done. I'll take this real quick here. Now, is that the liquid glass? Yes, it that is. That stuff is cool. If you ever want your car to look like a mirror, use that liquid glass stuff. It's awesome. Okay. Can you see the shine, the reflection of the can? All right, and in a minute we'll we'll show uh, we'll see if mine's is good. Actually, it's not. This is much more milky. Yeah, yeah. The this uh, is a this is a clear finish. Um, even as quickly as we've done all of this, you can uh, see a substantial. And difference. I think I, I mean, and I think I've really gone through the steps the way I was supposed to. I wasn't watching you in all honesty, but I'm sure you did. And they both do have a degree of gloss. It's just that Danny's system delivers a deeper, darker gloss. Yeah, this much looks faster. much more like stone than this does. This just looks, it just looks milky. Mm-hmm. And you know, I will say this: this is a 100% acrylic good. Acrylics are harder to bring to a gloss, um, and it's just always been that way. That's one of the benefits to polyesters and the hybrids, is they will gloss uh, with much less work. But still, it's important to see. Um, Trizac, which is a great product, delivers, I mean, a nice, you know, I'll tell you the, the, the finish it's is uniform. uniform. It's very uniform, because if you're, you can't see, but we're looking at these lights in here, mm -hmm. and they're, they're crystal clear. I mean, you can see that they're, they're clear round lights, but this is just milkier. 
Correct. Uh, so, um, once again, I am a huge fan of Danny's system. I, I am think now. It, it just it delivers, it delivers a superior finish rapidly. Um, and once again, like I said, there are some guys, once they learn how to use this system, they just offer it as a standard on their tops because I'll tell you, as a consumer, if I were looking at this and I were looking at this, I would pick the fabricator who delivered this top. Yeah, I know Ernie's got a, uh, a top to do in South Carolina, and uh, I know what you're going to do, Ernie. Yeah, he, he was, well, he's here watching the show tonight, and uh, he wanted to see what we were doing on finishing. But that's really, it's really awesome. Um, you know, I saw this. Danny did this for me when I was in Michigan one time. But, you know, after spending a day with Danny, um, you just... It's mostly talking. You just, you just forget everything you saw. And I'm, I'm, I'm just reminded about how nice that really looks. It's great. Yeah, it's a beautiful system. So you saw that we both put equal time into it, um, but yet my finish is far superior. Right. I think, anyway. I, I, I would be happier with this as a consumer. Now, once again, you know, I wouldn't do this with every top. I really wouldn't. This oh, is, no. This is for dark material. Right. However, uh, dark material is something that has really taken off in the marketplace. Yep. It seems to be a preference among consumers. So, guys, if you're in that spot and you've got to deliver a gloss that, is, that, that really lets the, the uh, particle jump, mm -hmm. um, uh, once again, I'll hold this up so you can see. I don't know if the cameras can get it or not, but there is, you can see a clear line between John's side. Both are, both are glossed, but the side using Danny's, Danny's system has a lot more depth of particle. Yeah. A lot more depth. There's no doubt about um, it. So, well, to uh, recap, uh, we've talked about Yoast paper. Mm -hmm. uh, the Yoast that we carry, by the way, and many of you are probably familiar with this, is this product here. It is a yellow color, and this is still a wonderful product. I don't want people to think that, you know, they have to have the blue, but this is a great product. It just can't be used wet, so um, use this for most of your dry sanding needs. The Micron paper we went over by 3M, mm -hmm. great product as well. Everybody does things differently. We sell different products for different people. If a salesman goes out and sells 3M in an area, we know it because all of a sudden we get orders for Micron paper. Um, if we do a promo on the Yoast paper, we know it because we get a lot of people calling in for this. One thing I want to hit real quickly because I'm worried, I know we're almost running out of time for tonight is once again in P-Grit, we carry Kling Spore, which is a good product. Right. We carry the Yoast, which everybody knows that I, I absolutely love Yoast. Right. Um, in we have to go over our codes, too. Yes, that's correct, and that's why I'm doing this quickly. Okay. In the uh, you Yoast. You thought I forgot, didn't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> in the Micron, in the 3M products, we carry right. Micron and Trizac, and we do also carry the Festool Platine. Right. However, for everybody that buys sandpaper this week instead of the normal 10%, we're going to give people... A free year's membership in the Abrasives 20? Right, and the Abrasives 20, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a program that we have that uh, once you buy into it, it's $25 a year. It gives you 20% off your uh, sandpaper, uh, for a year. sandpaper for a year, and that's the 3M and the Yoast and soon-to-be Kling Spore. So uh, for this whole week, you can uh, just go online, find that item online in Abrasives, and you can just order it. It's a no-charge item this week. And uh, the, that's, the AB, that's the ABR20 membership. No right. charge this week if you and order online. What's the coupon code this week? It is 12 19 Okay. And that'll give you 10% off on all the other products that you've seen here tonight. Except Festool. Except Festool, obviously. Never, never have Festool on sale. And um, we just want to say thanks, and we'll see you next week. Next week.